So here, Marcelo is training with Rafael Lovato Jr. again. This is uh, still the same role as the previous commentary. I'm looking for some grips. See, Marcelo's looking for, uh, it looks like grips just to pull with. And Rafael has a grip on the, the outside of the pant, or he's kind of looking for that grip, I believe, to, to be able to avoid the legs off the pull. Marcelo slides underneath, switching for the underhook, and then opting to try to uh, unbalance and get attached to that leg. A uh, little break in the action, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. And as the camera pans around, looks like they're they're restarting. And Rafael's made a really problematic grip for uh, X guard, one leg X guard. And let's look at how Marcelo solves that problem and breaks the grip. So as the camera comes around, you're going to see Rafael's lead arm, his right arm, is controlling that that uh, Marcelo's free arm. And so Marcelo's breaking that grip with the knee, but really important he has to sight the knuckles of the gripping hand so in there okay and so he's looking to to bring the knee right over the knuckle line or wrist line in that case and break the grip usually that grip comes from the other arm so the our knee is coming from the outside and that time he just had to adapt and bring the knee uh to the inside to find the hand so again we're in one leg x Okay. Usually that grip from Marcelo, uh, he'll use to, to bring the free arm in so we can trap it and, and start to control the arms to sweep. And Rafael's actually gone to kind of a double arm control gripping. We had to break that grip too. You can see, the big problem now for Marcelo is how heavy Rafael was able to get on that lead knee. And you can see Rafael's just trying to get that foot clear. The foot, uh, if he could get his hip a little further forward that where that foot can't reach it, uh, Marcel will no longer be able to defend the weight advancing and, and making underhooks, head control. See how flexible Marcelo is able to maintain that foot on the hip even with Rafael's knee on the floor. And now he's able to use that foot and the positioning of the inside leg to shift the weight and start to get underneath even more so. Watch the inside leg framing, how it has to adjust. Okay, good. W managing the weight, little scoop to get further underneath. Okay, legs coming over the shoulder, and the hook switched to full X. So let's just go back and look at that again. We can slow things down a little bit too. So the, the order that that happened is, is kind of non-traditional or, or not usually the way we practice. And that normally it would be feet first and then we start to switch the legs but there Marcelo having his other hand controlled already opted to scoop the leg first start to unbalance try to unbalance Rafael switch the bottom hook the right hook to prevent the back step then the the front leg to prevent the mount so where the 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 back hook the left hook preventing our the opponent from coming forward to prevent the mount so it's to unbalance backwards and really uh, I think the game here is trying to free that grip. The Having the free arm, the bottom arm controlled, makes it very difficult to surface and come up when you're on the bottom of the X guard. So you see Marcel has made a grip of his own, a pistol grip. I believe he's looking to, to pass that grip over to the other hand. There. But now that has to get aborted to, to maintain control and track the leg. So you can see the, the left hand here is blocking retraction, so above the knee is blocking retraction, so Rafael can't step that leg out and, and break the position. Marcelo's trying to circle off of that grip, but it's very difficult. It's a very difficult grip to break, and Rafael's not only you know has that grip, but he's leaning weight onto it, keeping that arm away from Marcelo's body, so it's very difficult to, to deal with. So it's gonna take some more creative problem solving here to, to surface and come up with this sweep so you can see both players are are at such a high level they know just how much energy to spend in these exchanges and and really also where to spend the energy where the fight is 
Marcel was able to just kind of start to bring that hand, even though the grip doesn't break, start to bring it closer to his body. Kicks to come up and just releases the leg over the head. So a finish on the X-Guard that I've never actually seen Marcelo use before. Not saying that he hasn't or hasn't thought about it at least, but let's look at that. Just gets rid of the leg, comes up almost into a leg drag position, but he he has to be cautious of the the attacks there. That arm lock triangle breaks the grips and now consolidates top control. <laughs>